shoot deployments. We should be just under five minutes away from splashdown. Passing 15 kilometers, brace for drogue window. Happy, we're braced. Just about 14 kilometers in altitude, 8.4 miles continuing to descend. There on your screen, we have a shot of the capsule as it is preparing to deploy those initial parachutes, the drogue parachutes. Again, these parachutes help slow the vehicle down even further and help stabilize in preparation for main chute deployment. Right about now, the capsule is going about 400 miles per hour, decelerating quickly. And standing by for drogue deploys. Visual, two drogues out. There on your screen, we have visual confirmation of those two drogue deployments. Happy do drogue. All right, so two of two, the drogues now out. They're gonna do their slowing and stabilizing of the Dragon spacecraft. They should be detaching in just a few moments, and then we'll see four parachutes, the main parachutes deployed. Dragon under drogues. Drogue descent rate nominal. So the expected descent rate, the expected velocity under the drogues nominal. We're right at around 150 miles an hour and already dropping. You can see the drogues now detach. And there we have confirmation of deployment of the four main parachutes. We are visual on four chutes out. We are visual. Four main parachutes deployed. Four main. So at this point, the main parachutes have deployed. They are inflating, as you can see there on your screen, continuing to slow Dragon down significantly. We are anticipating splashdown in just under two minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah, we've already slowed the vehicle down to about 16 miles an hour. It's already less than a kilometer in altitude. Main chute descent rate nominal, passing through 700 meters. So at this point, Dragon has saved all propulsion systems on 600 board. 600 meters. 600 meters. And we're 600 meters above the Gulf of Mexico. Should be approximately a minute 30 from splashdown. Mission Control Team here in Hawthorne has reported the precise landing coordinates to the recovery team. They are standing by, ready to go get our space dads. Just passed about 300 meters, one minute till splashdown. Two hundred meters. We are brace for splashdown. Copy brace for splashdown. So there we heard Bob and Doug reporting that they are bracing for a splashdown. We should be able to see uh, the Gulf of Mexico here in the shot just momentarily as we're now just about 20 meters off the ocean. Splashdown. As you can see on your screen, we have visual confirmation for splashdown. SpaceX copies and concurs. We see splashdown and mains cut. 
Dragon Endeavor has returned home. NASA astronauts and Bob Endeavor and Doug. On behalf of the SpaceX and NASA teams, welcome back to planet Earth and thanks for flying SpaceX. <laughs> It's truly our honor and privilege to fly the flight of the uh, Crew Dragon and Endeavor. Congratulations, everybody, at SpaceX. Uh, all good. And we're uh, into section of four decimal eight zero zero. Thanks for those words, Doug. And we uh, copy that you are into uh, four decimal eight zero zero. So great news all around there. Our space dads are back on Earth after a 19-hour return journey from space. Dragon Endeavor has splashed down in the Gulf of Mexico just off the coast of Pensacola, Florida. And on your screen there, you can see our two fast boats, and they are indeed fast, <laughs> racing out to greet Dragon Endeavor as uh, it sits there. The first on there we can see a view inside the capsule Bob and Doug looking good. Although the communication was a little choppy, we did Stay hear. Next, uh, endeavor in three decimal one, we show ourselves in stable one. And SpaceX copies for uh, vehicle assessment, step three decimal one, stable one. Good news. Stable one, essentially. They're upright in the water, stable two. Uh, also, another potential where it could be on its side or even upside down, but Dragon does have a water ballast system uh, to keep it upright where it's able to essentially pump seawater uh, into bladders in the service section of the capsule. But they're upright. We already see the fast boats approaching. They touched down, uh, came right on time at 11.48 a.m. Pacific. Uh, 1848 uh, UTC, Bob and Doug now in the water. And the recovery ops, they've already begun. We're, we already see the, the fast boat starting to move in. Uh, we're still maintaining that good communication back uh, with Bob and Doug and the team here in Hawthorne. Uh, pretty soon we should be getting uh, the go for them to move in, begin their hypergall sniffs, and uh, begin wrangling up those parachutes. But we can see Bob and Doug inside the capsule back on planet Earth. Yeah, those fast boats will be moving in to do a couple of things. Uh, they'll be performing what's known as a sniffer test. That's essentially to ensure that the air around the vehicle uh, doesn't have any toxic fumes from the hypergolic propellants on board. So once we get the all clear from there, uh, the water recovery lead will give the, uh, will give the go for approach. And that's when the, the first fast boat will actually approach the capsule. Hopefully give a little wave to Bob and Doug through the window. <laughs> and uh, one of the crew members will, uh, one of the team members will actually climb on top of Crew Dragon and begin to, um, begin to place the rigging equipment necessary to hoist Dragon out of the water. Oh, still getting a view from the WB. Uh, the airplane flying overhead, it gave us those, those great views of really our first views of Bob and Doug re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, from up above. You can see the four parachutes in the water. Uh, we heard those were cut automatically uh, as expected by Dragon. Uh, so for now, the crew just standing by. Again, they're going to stay in their suits, in their seats. Uh, we're waiting for all these initial checks. Dragon SpaceX comm check. Loud and clear, hello. Loud and clear as well. Just wanted to verify a quick comm reconfiguration. Thank you. So essentially what just happened there is they reconfigured. And Solo, if you can just relay uh, the status of the uh, fast boats and the recovery uh, as you get them, we would appreciate it. You bet. Absolutely, Doug. Uh, we'll go. So what just happened there, you, you heard uh, comms reconfiguration. That's essentially looping Bob and Doug's communication into the launch, or excuse me, into the recovery team uh, so that if not, they can hear feedback from Bob and Doug directly as well. Now, I, we talked a little bit about uh, SpaceX uh, Endeavor. You can let Ben and James know uh, we're doing pretty good so far. Okay, we'll let the flight docs know that you're feeling good so far. Thanks for that update. Really good news there to hear that they're feeling good uh, and they can let the flight surgeons know that all is well inside Dragon Endeavor. All right, and it sounds like we do have uh, 
One of our folks that's on location there with the recovery forces, NASA's Brandy Dean. She's been she's uh, joining us by satellite phone. Brandy, if you can hear me, I mean, what is it like right there on the water? What was it like to watch Dragon Rear uh, watch them splash down for the uh, test objective? So stand by at the console as we get it up and operating on the Okay, SpaceX copies. We'll be ready for that in just a couple minutes. We should have the go for you in just a moment. Please stand by.